you have in your data. So this is fast forwarding to once you collect data and ultimately report it. It's now we're sitting here slicing and dicing your data on commercial loans. because We have a whole lot of information at our fingertips once we get there, right? Spotlight on commercial loans. If we see that with your reportable transactions, now keep in mind, you're going to report applications. Here's where we're flipping the page. We've been talking in the first part of the program about counting and coverage. Well, counting and coverage is only originations. When we work towards reporting now, we report applications. That means if you didn't call something an application and it should have been, you have a reportable transaction that got missed, and that's going to be a problem. And so if you have high approval rates, meaning we don't see many denials, we don't see many withdrawn or incomplete applications, the red flags are going to go up. I'm going to bring our, our review team into our discussion here today. So one of the unique things about the trainings that we're able to bring to you is, in addition to the, the, the training team that we have at Bankers Compliance Consulting that I'm on, I have teammates that are compliance experts that go into financial institutions just like yours week in and week out. We see two to three different financial institutions every couple of weeks. And one of the things we see throughout the year when we look back and we talk about, you know, what, what we see in the field, see in the trenches is, and I don't, I'm not trying meaning to, to, to pick on, on commercial lenders here by any means, but one of the common themes that, that, that we end up talking about is how uh, we were in a bank, we were in a financial institution, a credit union, whatever, and they had little to no adverse action notices for commercial loans, incomplete applications, or withdrawn applications. And there's just what we do is then we go interview these the, these departments and say, all right, we see that that you make commercial loans, but show me the ones you said no to. You can't possibly approve every commercial loan that ever crosses the books. Oh, don't be silly. We we don't we don't approve everything. We turn things down. Well, where's it at? Where's the adverse action notice? Where's the applicant that said, yeah, never mind, we're going down the street. Hey, where's the one that applied and it just fell it fell through because they didn't get you the information you needed? Hey, where's the incomplete? Where's the denied? Where's the withdrawn applications? Again, spotlight on commercial lending. This is an area that's going to bubble to the surface that's going to not only potentially be a 1071 issue, but also creates a traditional Reg B issue where you, maybe you thought you were okay with adverse action notices, but now you're going to find out that, huh, we don't have any adverse action notices for, for commercial. And now it's going to stick out like a sore thumb that we always say yes. There's no possible way you always say yes. <laughs> you, have, you have to have people you've told no before, people that have withdrawn, people that have incomplete applications, because all of those outcomes are going to ultimately be reported. When we get to action taken later, you're going to report the action as approved, originated, or as incomplete, or as denied, or as withdrawn. And if you don't have those, you're just opening up the questions. Now, maybe you can demonstrate that you don't have those, but the, the writers of this rule seem to indicate that they also know that this is an issue. And so high approval rates will call into question whether or not you're calling things an application at the appropriate time. 